Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain the three ways to add days to a date in Excel. So this was a great question submitted by Michael and uh, he basically has a column of dates here in his data set and he wants to add a day or a number of days to each of these dates. So we're going to take a look at a few different ways to go about this technique. So the first thing we can do is just uh, use a formula to add a day to a date or a number of days to a date. And in Excel, a date is actually just a number and it's the number of days that have elapsed since January 1st, 1900. And then it's just formatted as a date. So if we were to change the number formatting on this date here, we'll just go to the home tab, uh, the number format dropdown, change this to general, we can see we get this number here, 42,373. And that's just the number of days that have elapsed since January 1st, 1900. And then Excel just uh, uses this uh, to store the date value. And we actually just apply formatting to view it as a date. So, and I have a whole nother video that explains the calendar date system in Excel in a lot more detail. And I'll put a link to that below this video. But what that means is that we can just add numbers to this date. So in cell B2 here, we can just type a very simple formula, reference cell A2, and then just do a plus one if we wanted to add one day and hit enter. And that will add one day to this date. And then of course we could just copy this down. We can just double click the fill handle to copy this uh, formula down. And then if we wanted to replace our original dates with this new date, we could do a copy, just right click or control C copy and then paste values right here. So we'll just paste the values right there. And then we can see those new values have been pasted over the old values. So that's one way to go about it using a formula. And again, that formula could be any number of days. So we just added a day. We could uh, also subtract a day with a minus one there, and that would subtract one day from this date. Or if we wanted to add an entire week, we could do something like plus seven uh, to add a week to that date. So a lot of options there, and it's really just simple addition or subtraction. So the next technique is using the paste special method and this will allow us to actually add days or subtract days from the existing days or dates in these cells right here. So to use this method, I'm first going to insert the number of days that I want to add. In this case, I'll just put a one here in any blank cell. So in cell C2, I'm going to enter a one. And then we're going to copy this cell. So control C or right click copy. And then we'll select the dates here in this column and then right click paste special right here, right click paste special. And now we'll open up the paste special menu. And on the paste special menu here, we have this operation section that will allow us to add, subtract, or even multiply or divide uh, the ex these selected values by the number that we have copied or by the value that we have copied. So we currently have one copy to the clipboard. So we can add that number to all of these existing values here uh, when we do the paste. So we're going to select add. Now the other thing we want to do here is choose values from the paste type uh, because we just want to paste the values. If we don't choose that, then this will also paste the number formatting of cell C2 onto uh, column A here. And that number formatting is general, so it would basically just mess up our date formats. So that's why we'll choose values there add operation and then click OK. And we can see that that's added uh, one day to each of these dates. So that's a great way to do that uh, because you don't have to uh, create a formula in a separate column and do that copy and paste values. You can just do it very quickly with this paste special method. And then of course, if you wanted to subtract, you can just right click paste special. Keyboard shortcut is Alt ES. And uh, then here, instead of add, we could choose values again and subtract for the operation. And again, this could be any number of days here. So it doesn't have to be one. It could be seven or whatever number of days you want to add or subtract. Just put that in there, copy it to the clipboard, and then do this paste special here. And that would subtract one from each of these dates. Now, it's important to note that this is actually modifying the value in the cell. So as we can see here, 
there's no formula if we look here in the cell uh, or even up here in the formula bar there's no formula here we've just added or subtracted that number from the value in the cell and the paste special operation does that if however there was a formula in this cell in fact in in column b here we'll just do a quick formula i will do an end of month function here to return the last day of the month uh, for this particular um, this particular date so here we have the end of the month we'll just use the end of the month function and copy that down so now we have uh, a, basically what's a formula here that's uh, calculating that date in this cell and if we're to do the same thing so we'll go here we'll just copy this cell and then select all of these cells here and we'll do that same paste special and we'll choose uh, values and the add and then click OK. What's happened here is that the uh, formula has actually been modified to have a plus one added to it. So whatever the number is that you've copied, uh, the formula will actually be modified to have a plus one or a minus one if you do subtract or however many days you have there will be added to the end of that formula. We can also see that parentheses have been put around that existing formula right here and then we just have the plus one at the end. So the paste special operation is smart enough to detect that if you have a formula, an existing formula there, and then it'll just modify that formula. If you don't have a formula and you just have values in the cells, then it will modify the values in those cells. Now, the third way we can go about this is using a macro. So on this sheet here, I have the same example, and you'll notice I have a few little shapes right here, and when we click these, that will add one to the date. Click the left arrow, it will uh, subtract one from the date, and that is using a macro. So I'll explain how I did this, and you'll be able to download uh, this workbook. There should be a link below the video where you can download this workbook and check out the code examples. So we'll just open the VB editor, go to developer tab, visual basic button, keyboard shortcut is Alt F11, and here's the VB editor window. I'll keep Excel open in the background so we can see both of these. And we're in this project here in this workbook, add data date, and in module one are these code examples. So the first macro here is very simple. It's just going to add a day to the date in the active cell. And that's, it's just one line of code. It's this line of code right here. And all it's doing is taking the value in the active cell and setting that equal to the value in the active cell plus one. So very simple line of code there. And when we run that macro, we can hit F5 on the keyboard or the run button right here, we can see that that's just adding a value, uh, just adding one to this date right here. So I'll click it again. We can see it's now uh, January 9th. And then we also have a macro here to subtract a day from a date. So it's the same line of code. We just uh, subtract one instead of add one. And again, this could be any number. It does not need to be one. It could be seven or any number really. Uh, so that will just work on the active cell, the cell that's selected. Uh, if we wanted to apply that same technique to multiple cells, then I have a macro down here that does that. And in this case here, this macro is just going to loop through each cell in the selected cells. So we're using this variable here, and it's saying for each cell in the selection dot cells, so all of the selected cells, we're again just gonna run that line of code where we take the value of the cell and set it equal to the value of the cell plus one. Again, you could change that number there. But in this case here, so if I just select all of these cells here in the column, and then I'll jump back to the VB editor, Alt F11. We'll run this macro here, just hit the run button. We can see now that all of uh, the cells have one day added to the date. And then I have the same uh, macro down below that to subtract a day from the date. Again, it's just a minus one there instead of a plus one. And then I also have a macro down here that will only add a day to a, the dates in a specific range. So if you wanted to add some buttons to your worksheet like I have here, in this case, it's just shapes added to the worksheet. If you wanna make sure that the user only runs that macro on column A here, the column that contains your dates, uh, then we can use this macro here. And this just has another line of code added to it with an if statement 
And what this is doing is it's using this intersect function uh, to determine if the selected range, the selection, uh, intersects range A2 to A20. And of course, you could change this to any range in your workbook. Uh, this could be a table column or a named range. Uh, you could change it to any range here. Just kept it simple. We'll keep it as A2 to A20. So if this intersects, if the selected cells intersect that range, then we're going to run this line of code here, or this section of code, uh, to loop through each cell in the selection and add one to it. And uh, this is kind of a weird line of code here. It's saying if not uh, is nothing. It's kind of a double negative. Uh, but what it really is doing with that double negative is just saying if the selection is within this range here, then run this portion of the code. If not, it'll just jump down to the end if line. So with that, then we can have uh, multiple cells selected and click these buttons. So we'll jump back over to Excel here. And if we uh, just, let's say we just select these cells right here and click the plus button, that's just going to add a day to all of the uh, dates in the selected cells, just like that. So we can continue to click these buttons. If we just have a single cell selected, then we'll just click that button and that'll add or subtract days to the selected cells. So that's a great way to do it with a macro if you wanna make this a little more interactive and easier for your users. And of course, the possibilities with the macro are just endless there on how you wanna set this up and how you want the user interface to look. But that's a very simple example, just using some shapes. These are just shapes uh, that I created from the insert menu here. Just insert, insert a shape, which is uh, the triangle shape there, and then uh, right click the shape and assign the macro to it. And we can see that that macro there is that uh, add day to range uh, macro. It's added right there. So pretty simple way to do that uh, with a shape and a macro to make this much more interactive and easy for your users to add or subtract days from the current date in a cell. And just like everything with Excel, there are a lot of different ways to solve this problem. So please leave a comment below with a suggestion you have on how to add a day to a date. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.